So now let's look at this as a, a full picture. Let's take a look at this nonlinear modulator as the full picture. So throughout the, the previous two videos, we derived several of these equations, right? So we looked at what happened. What's x1? x1 is when we add our cosine, right? We add this cosine to the message. x2 is uh, go, takes this cosine and puts it through a subtractor where we subtract the message. Then we had a nonlinear device. We put this x1, passed it through a nonlinear device, modeled it as a power series approximation, and we just did two terms, two term approximation. And that two term approximation we approximated as this, where this is right x1, and this is x1. Then we passed this. Uh, nonlinear approximation, the y1 and y2, we passed it through another uh, summer where we actually put, put one in a, into a subtraction and we subtract y2 from y1 and via this operation we arrived at some signal z and that signal z now is a combination of y1 and y2 and we were really happy about this because we saw that by putting it through that next summer, we had a term here that looks exactly like what we wanted. This is the modulation of the message. So then the next step was to put it through a band pass filter. Okay, so uh, we put it through a band pass filter and got a modulated message. Now, <clears throat> we have two, we had two inputs here, right? So we had our input message and we also had an input one of the message and we had our input two, which is a cosine it, with a carrier frequency omega c. So we had two inputs, and then at the output, at this summer, we had uh, uh, two different terms in our truncated output. Now, if we look at this, we can see that our sum out does not contain any term that has a cosine omega c by itself, right? We have one term with a message by itself. It just has these two constant coefficients. And then we have one term that's the message multiplied by this cosine wave with some coefficients, but there isn't any term that contains just the cosine wave with some coefficients. So because of this, we can say that our output uh, contains one of the inputs, but not the other. So we'll call this a uh, balanced modulator, right? And we'll call it a balanced modulator because at this output sum, we have removed one of the inputs. Furthermore, we will call this a single balanced modulator because it is so-called balanced with, in terms of cosine because the cosine is removed, but it is not balanced in terms of the message because there is this message term. So this is just a single balanced mod uh, modulator. Were we to come up with some kind of uh, device where this output sum did not contain this term, we could con uh, consider it to be a double balanced modulator.